It only takes one small change to completely transform the way you organize your morning. It's so easy to implement, but so life-changing. You know, morning routines are getting more and more complex and difficult to incorporate into our lives. Today we'll discuss a specific strategy to build a strong morning routine, but you can watch another full-length companion video that basically goes through all of my knowledge on how to create the morning routine of your dreams, and which you can access by signing up for the Curiosity Stream plus Nebula Bundle deal for less than $15 a year at curiositystream.com slash Marianne. There are books out there that try to help you create your own morning routine, starting the day off on the right foot, and overall just making this part of your day feel like your own personal retreat that you get to enjoy every single morning. The thing is, our lives are busy, very busy. A lot of us have to go through long commutes in the morning, take care of children and pets, and tackle a bunch of chores, so incorporating even more stuff in the morning can be really difficult. I think we have to be a little bit more realistic. The more ambitious we are with our mornings, the more prone we are to abandoning those principles and habits and just start letting everything go. Instead of jam-packing your morning with activities, my challenge for you is to try to pick only three activities to focus on for the next couple of days. And of course you have freedom in deciding what those activities are, as well as deciding what's the kind of routine you're going to establish, whether you're going to tackle those habits every single day or on a weekly basis, for instance. I basically call this method of designing your morning routine the BBS method. So instead of thinking about doing everything, focus on doing something for your brain, something for your body, and something for your soul. The three-step morning routine, or the BBS method, can mean entirely different things to different people. So let's take a few examples and see exactly how you can use the method to create the morning routine that's just perfect for your lifestyle. Activities for your brain may include language practice, reading and writing activities, skill building, studying, engaging in personal projects, and building or even crafting. Activities for your body include things such as working out, meal prepping, doing chores, stretching, going for a walk, or even having a healthy breakfast. And finally, activities for your soul may include journaling, meditating, watching a show, playing video games, chatting, or reading a motivational book. The activities that feed these three different parts of you are entirely up to you to choose. And here's the good news. Besides choosing the activities, you can also choose the kind of routine you're going to establish and implement to be able to tackle all of those activities and habits on a regular basis. Also, you can and should adapt your routines as you see fit. You know, people's lives are quite dynamic, so no matter how much you want to stay grounded in your routines, it's not a good idea to be a slave to it either. Okay, so let's talk about different scheduling methods. With the daily method, you pick one activity for each step and repeat that every single day. Ideally, this requires you to pick the same activities and do those in the same order every single day. Basically, you'll gain from repetition as well as small efficiency gains as you start getting accustomed to those activities and those habits in the long run. This is great for people who enjoy the stability of a solid morning routine and feel like they can only stay grounded with the same set of habits. And it's also a system that will benefit people who have more time in the morning to dedicate to those habits. With the rhythmic method, you'll still focus on the same points every single day, but alternate the habits assigned to each one of them. Although you can still keep the same order, for instance, focusing on the brain, then body, and then soul every single day, you simply change the habits around. So for your body, for instance, you can focus on doing yoga on Mondays and Fridays, a daily walk on Tuesday, a HIIT workout on Wednesday, and focusing on meal prepping on Thursday. This is great for people who have a lot of time in the morning to dedicate to their morning routine, but at the same time you feel like you really don't want to do the same thing every single day, so you like to switch things around. Finally, we have the weekly method, in which you focus on drastically reducing the amount of parts or points you're focusing on a daily basis, and dedicate either more time to a single one daily habit or simply shorten your morning routine drastically. The weekly method is great for people who really just don't have the time to focus on multiple habits per morning. You still want to dedicate a small part of your morning to those optional habits that you can do, but at the same time you want to feel like you're not waking up at 5 a.m. to do all of those habits. The good news is, despite not being able to tackle all three parts every single day, you're still focusing on some kind of self-development daily. 
Also with this method, you're making sure you're focusing on all the three parts every single week, independently of not being able to dedicate a lot of attention to each single part every single day. Either way, a good rule of thumb for any of these habits is the 20 minute rule. 20 minutes is a solid interval of time to dedicate your attention to a habit. Independently of the type of scheduling method you're using, 20 minutes per habit is a strong start and the compounding effect will become really noticeable over time. If you're currently feeling like your morning is too jam-packed, my suggestion for you is to simply add in 20 more minutes to your morning and start going to bed 20 minutes earlier. This may sound a little bit ridiculous. The thing is, although 20 minutes may not seem like a long time, it will make a huge difference in terms of self-development and at the same time, it's pretty much manageable to implement into your currently existing routine. In 20 minutes, you'll be able to do a 20-minute workout, 20 minutes of reading, 20 minutes of meditating, 20 minutes of journaling or writing, and even a 20-minute session of language learning on an app of your choice. There's so much potential, and if you try it for one week, you'll immediately feel the results. The joy of feeling you're investing in yourself the first thing in the morning. Okay, so for most habit-building exercises, the rule of thumb is to always start with your non-negotiables. These are, of course, all the tasks that you have to do in the morning, like taking your breakfast, getting ready to, you know, go to work, walk your dog, make your bed, and so forth. However, I like to adapt the non-negotiables rule in the following way. Start your routine with the task you enjoy the most first, and then, and only after that, follow with non-negotiables. This rule is especially important for people who are struggling with building their morning routine, or in case you're struggling with just, you know, waking up a little bit earlier every single day. This can be a really motivational change that will trigger all the happy feelings you need to start getting up early in the morning. Also, we really want to make this part of your day special and relaxing. So if you focus on the funnest thing first, as well as the things that give you more joy, at least you'll know that despite what happens during the day, that morning routine is kind of sacred for you and you did exactly what you wanted to do first thing in the morning. And if you want to incorporate more valuable content in your morning routine, as well as learning more about all the lessons regarding morning routines that I've learned over the past seven years, then there's a great combo that I really, really, really recommend you to get. So I recommend you get your Curiosity Stream plus Nebula bundle. This allows you to watch high quality documentaries on the go, made by great teams, and then hundreds of curated insightful videos that were made specifically to make you think. The bundle will give you immediate access to our Morning Routine 101 video, which has all the knowledge I've been accumulating over this particular subject over the years. So Curiosity Stream has a lot of documentaries on science, history, psychology, you name it. They are all wonderfully produced and can teach you so much on everything you may think of. I actually have my own list of favorites, which I'll show you right here. And when you sign up for Curiosity Stream, you can access Nebula too. All the videos featured in Nebula are ad-free and sponsor-free. A lot of them aren't available anywhere else, like the Morning 101 video. And on top of that, you even have originals which are exclusive and produced for this platform only. All of my videos are currently there, and if you sign up and watch me over there, you also have access to all scripts from YouTube videos, exclusive resources, exclusive articles, and so much more. You can get access to all six platforms for under $15 a whole year. So to get the discount, please remember to click the link down below to start watching now. I really hope you've enjoyed today's video and I'll see you next week. Bye guys!